You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. Okay, so mutations. I mean, a fusion gene can be looked at as a mutation, but we like to refer to it as a, uh, a, a huge event. In other words, you're, you're exchanging two components of a gene, whereas a mutation typically happens to one of these base pairs of a gene. So if you look to the slide on the right, you'll see these little cross links. And these are actually two different um, DNA base pairs. So you'll have one DNA base pair in one strand and one DNA base pair on the other strand, and they attach to each other and meet in the middle. And so the pairing is always the same. They're based on the name of the amino acid, and there's four of them. So you have uh, an A and a T, which pair together, and a G and a T, a G and a C that pair together. Um, and they're referred to uh, by the first name of the amino acid. So a A is an adenine, a T is a thymine, a G is a cytosine, a G is a guanine, and a T is a, a cytosine. And so they, they connect together and they form these cross links between the two outside strands. Now, just a note here, this picture is uh, actually backwards, DNA spirals in the other direction. Um, so um, there's been some- uh, some Alex's pet peeve, totally pet peeve. <laughs> I'll fix that for next time. Yes, it is my pet peeve. However, yeah. I will say that um, the standard, um, the standard spiral of DNA uh, is not uh, confirmed in every situation. We know there's many different conformations of DNA. So we'll just refer to this as what we call beta DNA, which has a, the reverse spiral of standard DNA. So um, what mutations are? Our mutations are changes to one of these little rungs. So it looks like a ladder, we'll call these rungs. Um, and what happens is one of these rungs gets changed. So you have a specific order and the order is these rungs in the ladder. And when you change one of those rungs, it changes the way that gene functions. So when a gene uh, gets mutated, the structure gets altered. And so when it binds to its, its partner amino acid, uh, it changes um, or its partner gene. So typically a gene is gonna bind to another gene or attach to a receptor or have some function. Um, when it does that, then it's, it's not gonna have a different function or it's gonna, it's gonna have a different function now. And what's gonna happen is that particular uh, gene, in most cases with cancer, uh, a gene will bind onto a receptor or its partner gene, and then it will fall off after its job is done. In oncogenes, typically what happens is these mutations cause the genes to stay stuck to their partner. And so they constantly signal and that uh, signaling pathways turned on uh, all the time, it's called constitutive signaling, uh, instead, of, uh, instead of the gene releasing once it's binding. Mm -hmm. So that can definitely change the way the gene functions and it can alter the whole signaling pathway. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.